Hello and welcome back to Kim's Cozy Corner. I'm Kim and we're in the garden and it is crunch time. Now I am leaving for a business trip and I'm gonna be gone for a whole week. But I tell you what, I am in peak season of harvesting some of my vegetables. And so it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So today is my last day to try to get the harvest in. So I am going to be jumping around the garden doing different projects and I figured I'll just bring you right with me. The first project that we're gonna focus on are these last containers that I have of potatoes. Now it's been ooh, another week since the last time I harvested potatoes. So it is July 15th, and these potatoes have been in the ground since the end of March. So they've been in the ground for about 14 weeks. So they should be ready. They should be done. They, they're gonna be as big as they're gonna be, and if they're not big, that's okay, because we're still gonna eat them. So I'm gonna take care of these four containers. You've seen me harvest potatoes, you've seen my girls harvest potatoes, so I'm just gonna time lapse it to get through this project so we can move on to the next. If you're interested in this type of potato though, this is a German butter ball. And all of my German butter balls so far have been very small in size, but we will see how these are doing. Ooh, very dry. And it should be because I haven't watered them because I wanted to get to this container and I'm trying to get to it before the rain hits. So let's grab our German butter balls. Yeah, these are small as well, but you can tell they're full size. So maybe German butterball is just a smaller potato. Now that's a nice size one right there. And that's full size. So they are just not large potatoes, not the German butterballs. All right, so I'm gonna stop for just a minute and catch you up on what's going on. So the first two containers were German butterball. They're small potatoes. The second one has tons of potatoes in it. The first one didn't have many, but I'll show you pictures later. And this container here, this is my Rocky Mountain russet. This is a russet potato. I'm hoping for some decent sized potatoes. The first container was really small potatoes. And I've left these in for an additional week actually it's a little more than a week but let's see what we get it's a late season potato so all of these potatoes should be ready anywhere at around 110 days ish some kind of bug i don't like ah japanese beetle in the bottom of my container. All right, let's see. Oh, there's something over there. Something poking out, it's small though. It's definitely small. Okay, I'm giving up on russets. I've tried, I love a good baking potato. Oh, wait a minute, that's decent. That's a decent sized baking potato. I'll take it. All right, maybe I spoke too soon. No, most of them are little though. I want a big baking potato, a big one, humongous. Now this container only had two seed potatoes in it. So, and I did that intentionally to try to give them more room to grow. So that was the intent. 
So they definitely had more room in this container. And eh, I'm getting more small than big, but at least I'm getting something. Now these are seven gallon containers, so they're not huge container. At least this particular container was seven gallons. Now this container, I believe, had three sea potatoes in it. They're decent. Hmm. That's interesting, it's fused. So there's the potato harvest. These two are the German butter ball. I mean, this I think is as big as a German butter ball is going to get. As I look across the board, they're about that size. And this container had very few in it, but I think I only put like two, maybe three potatoes in it. Not many there, but if you look at this one, there are a ton of teeny little potatoes in here. Now, I'll probably just boil these potatoes, leave the skin on and enjoy them that way. But this is my biggest German ball harvest in this one. And this is probably my largest potato haul of the multiple containers I've harvested so far this year. My russet potatoes. I mean, I have a couple decent sized ones in here, um, but I want a russet potato. But this is about what you get at the restaurant pretty much anymore. So these are my two containers of russet potatoes. I have a teeny little baby container over there. Let me go ahead and take care of that one too. Okay, I got all the potatoes out. We need to replant these pots. So I don't have any more seed potatoes. And since I don't have any more seed potatoes, we are gonna use these pots for some different things. But the first thing that I need to do is amend the soil. Let's put some nutrition back into it. So we're going to add some granular fertilizer. I got too many leaves on top here. So let's start with granular fertilizer. Just a big handful right on top. We'll mix it in. And some compost. And it's the middle of July, but there are still seeds you can start in July and get a harvest. So you just have to read the packets to find which seeds you can start and that will germinate and produce quickly. And there's some out there. And I find that containers do better um, as far as they, they have a shorter uh, period until the things are ready to harvest. And I don't know if it's because the pots heat up on the side because they're black or what, but I'm finding each and every one of my containers have been ready a lot sooner than I expected it to be. So don't know the reason why, could be the combination of the soil and the nutrition in the soil. It could be just the fact that it's a pot versus the ground and how the sun heats that pot up every day. I don't know, it just works. All right, and this little one I've already done. So what are we gonna plant? That's the question. Well, this pot here, I purchased it 100 million years ago and it had bush cucumbers in it and it comes with a small trellis. So we are going to put cucumbers in this pot. I have a bush cucumber, it's called pickle bush. And it has a 52 day to harvest time period, which is plenty of time before my last frost. 
So we're gonna put cucumbers in here. I'm putting two seeds per pocket, just in case one doesn't germinate. I can't afford to waste any time at this time of the year when it comes to germination. So that pot's ready to go with cucumbers. And then, and you know what? I'm gonna put cucumbers in this one too, cause it's super narrow. And so I don't have a lot of sides to grow on this one. And I can put, I can put a um, tomato cage in here to help with the bush cucumbers. So let's, let's do this one with bush cucumbers as well. And then I have plans for these other three pots. I'll tell you what, though, I'm going to put three in this one. It's bigger than that other one was. Let's put three. Two in each spot as well for that. Now, here's where I'm going to mess myself up. I didn't bring anything to mark these pots. So I'm going to have to try to remember what's in here until I get to a marker because I'm in such a hurry today. In these other three pots, I am going to put in here cream peas. So it's a, a zipper cream pea. I already have it in a couple of spots inside the garden where I've pulled things up and I've replaced it. And so I'm gonna do the same thing in this pot here. So I am gonna grow the cream peas and these three pots, as well as one of my green stalks, we'll get to that probably, maybe, I might. <laughs> it depends on time. I don't have a lot of time, so we gotta see what we can get done. These did really well for me last year, so hopefully they'll do well this year as well. Now, these seeds are a year old then, since, I purchased them last year. They're already starting to germinate inside the garden where I planted them. So hopefully they will do just fine. Oh, the bees and I are dancing around today. Okay, in this spot here, I got a few potatoes that have already started dying back. Mm, I said potatoes. In this spot here, I have onion that have already flopped over and they're ready to be harvested. That's a decent size. Not my best, but not my worst. These are Texas, what is this? Texas 1015s and it is one of my preferred, it's a sweet onion. And I am just for now gonna set all of these right on the edge. And then later today, I'm gonna move them inside. This will let them dry out just a little bit before I move them inside to finish drying out. Since I'm gonna be away, I don't want them accidentally getting wet with rain, storms, and I can't trust any of my outside locations not to do that. So these right here are not ready yet. So the, the necks aren't weak and weepy. So we will leave those for now. And it is a different kind over there. But we got these pulled up and resting on the side. I think I'm gonna call it for now. It's hot out here. So I am gonna step inside, cool off, and I'm gonna come back this afternoon and finish up by harvesting everything that needs to be harvested because I'm gonna go almost a week and not be able to harvest in the garden. So I will be back. Okay, so it's later in the day and it's honestly very hot in the day right now, to be honest with you, but we're gonna continue harvesting and trying to get as much done as possible. So we're gonna work on some of the cucumbers here on this tower. And I am gonna send my daughter into the garden to get the onions that I have pulled up that's been sitting out in the sun and bring them inside so they can cure. Now these cucumbers are pretty much done. I was hoping to replace them 
today with some new plants. I just don't know if I'm going to have time. I want to make sure I do all my harvesting first. And then if I have time, I will replace these cucumbers. They have been super productive. Like this isn't a cucumber though. This is a melon of some sorts. I don't even remember. I'll have to look in there to see what it is. But there are still a few cucumbers here. There's our little onion haul to go with the rest of the onion. Thank you. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead. I am going to go ahead and pull out one of these plants. You know what? I prefer to do this in the morning, though. How about I wait till morning? I'll do it first thing in the morning. Hopefully I can get out here right before that rain hits and then pull it out because it's so hot. I don't want to transplant with it being this hot at this moment in time. I don't think that's a good idea for transplanting. Maybe for starting seeds, but definitely not for transplanting. And I've worked too hard to start those cucumbers to lose them for trying to place them when it's this hot outside. So we will wait till tomorrow and hopefully get to it at that time. I think I have all of the cucumbers off of here that need to be harvested. Do you see any cucumbers that need to be harvested? They got to be bigger than this. This is too small. They got to be bigger than that. Like, I want to like, make sure I didn't miss any. Like this size to this size? This, size to this, this size. is the perfect size. All right, I think that's it. I don't see any more. All right, so from here, we're gonna go in the garden and start trying to get some of these beans. Can you carry the bowl for me? I don't know if you can see this or not, but there are beans like crazy in here. Oh, wow. Look at all of these beans. They're just hanging from up above, and I need to harvest all of those next. Little Miss, you go over there and harvest over there. I had been harvesting, sorry about the lawnmower, because it never fails. When I'm harvesting, somebody's cutting grass. But look at this. I'm gonna make sure everyone sees this. Look who's cutting grass over there. That's my mom, 73 years young, cutting the grass by choice. Let me be clear, by choice. And that is a self-propelled lawnmower. She's not pushing, but she likes to do it to stay healthy and to keep moving. But I wanna be clear that this is by choice. No hate, no hate emails and comments. She's doing it by choice to stay young. All right, now back to my harvesting. After we get all of these harvested tomorrow, we will definitely, while it's raining, go ahead and do a huge canning project. Now I am picking them a little cleaner than I normally would because I'm not gonna be here to harvest them. So I'm picking some of these a little smaller than I typically would. There's just so many. And I probably can count the number of pole beans I have over here. This is only eight plants giving all of these beans. Eight bean plants, that's it. And I planted, like in comparison, I planted probably two or 300 bush beans. So to see how much these eight plants are giving in comparison to 200 bush beans is amazing. You know, I might need a ladder here. I might not have thought this all the way through. I'm a little, sh I'm a little short. Now I've shown you so many bean harvests but look how pretty these are. I mean, they're long, they're straight. They are just absolutely beautiful. 
You only got three? No, that was four or five. Okay. She's got four or five to my 50. But at least she's getting something. Got a nice zucchini. Nice zucchini here. My little helper is about to get fired. She's not going to have to quit. I'm going to fire her. But she's not helping. She's standing over there <laughs> doing nothing. Try to hide in the shade. To pick as many of these as I can. All right. She did a good job over here. He did good. Keep picking. At least we'll end in the shade, nice and cool. And if you're interested in my little Willie chair, because most people are very interested in this seat that I sit in, it is a toddler's toy. It's 20 to 30 years old. We have no idea how to get another one. I don't know if they make it anymore. It's from the Step 2 company. They have some products that are similar, but not just like this. Um, but it's a toddler's toy. It's not really for the garden, but I use it in the garden almost every day. There's usually a comment every video wanting to know where they can get my little garden rolly tool. And... Um, I'm sorry, this is one of those times where my it's just so old, you're not gonna be able to find this specific one or something similar to it. My neighbor gave it to me back when I did fostering and when I had a house full of foster children that stayed with me and they were all young toddlers in age and he gave it to me so they had a toy to play on and now I no longer foster, but this tool is perfect for the garden. You ready to hand me some? Okay, we're going to pick some cauliflower too, looks like. Two more little bitty cauliflower. All right, so I lost my helper again, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. We're going to get this done. We're gonna make this happen. My bowl's getting heavy. Oh, oh, it's getting heavy with all the cauliflower and the squash and the cucumbers, a couple tomatoes. But I am over at my neighbor's now and we will get these beans from over here. I usually do small batches of canning of beans. So I get a small harvest in, I do a small batch, and then I just keep going and eventually that those small batches add up to my year's supply. But I have been super busy doing other things. So I can or even think throwing everything in the freezer, but now my freezer is full of beans and that's not where my beans are supposed to be. My beans are supposed to be in jars, mason jars. At least over here, there's a breeze. There's a little bit of shade. Uh, I'm saving the coolest area for last. It's the area that needs the most attention. Oops, pull that one all the way out. It's okay, they're way too thick anyway. Hmm. Oh, miss. Did I not do this bad? Man, how did I miss all these beans? I stand up and I see a handful of beans, like almost a serving. I quit. It's hot, it's 
late. It's after seven o'clock and we are early to bed around here. So I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. I got as much done as I could get done. This is about a half a container of green beans, cucumbers, squash, tomatoes, cauliflower, and that's it. That's a wrap, I'm tired. Thank you for joining me throughout the day to get these multiple projects done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share, turn on notifications, all those good things and that jazzy stuff. And I will see you back again here real soon. Bye.